Am I ready for this episode? I don't know guys, I really don't know. Some exciting stuff happened last week where Demetria McKinney, who plays Anacostia, commented on my video. She said she looks forward to my videos every week and uh, my commentary. But wasn't sure how I'd react to the final two episodes. I think the whole cast has been hyping up these last two episodes, um, so I don't think I'm ready at all, you guys. I totally cried a bit when I read that comment. Uh, I blame my period hormones, but if you have watched my channel for a couple years now, you know I'm an emotional wreck. So, I have prepared wine for this occasion. I don't think I could get through this episode without it. Uh, I'm totally not ready, guys. I'm kind of freaking out. Um, anyways, let's get started. Previously on Motherland. Spoil well, everyone. Horrible things have happened. I love you. She told you what you needed to hear. That president hmm. felt bound by It's cool that they followed that up with what Anacostia said. Because I guess Anacostia's words can be interpreted in two ways. Where one, she could be like, yeah, she just lied to you. Or she could be like, maybe she actually means it. Because Anacostia does know that Scylla had doubts and regret about joining the spree and all that. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. They are disillusioned now as well, everybody. They had to kill civilians. And the general gets a lot of hate for that. But I think anyone in her position would have done the same because it was a couple civilians versus a whole airport where like thousands would have died. So as a leader she thought it was um, a necessary sacrifice considering that these cadets aren't fully trained and haven't even been to any war before having them kill civilians right off the bat like that um it's pretty hardcore <laughs> definitely doesn't make them enthusiastic about going to war college and shit. i think alger is desperate for these songs that's what makes her a bad guy that's what someone commented in my video and i agree Holy shit. Oh my god, the vocal cord thing. Jeez. Are they in a pentagram? Holy shit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That is a dark start. The vocal cord thing. I'm not sure if that's the spree, because that's what happened to the bellwethers. Um, but the spree have never killed witches before. And like ripping out the vocal cords is something very, probably the worst thing you could do to a witch because it's so vital for their power. You just lie to the world like that. Everyone lies now. Oh, I don't they like lie in war. Yeah. People ugly but that's part of being a soldier so abigail understands what all so feral what those hostages were feeling oh damn you feel it that we're gonna die she kind of linked with them and we all have to remember that day for the rest of our lives maria yeah, looks healthier <laughs> that's good thank you you will be expected to give liver's eulogy it's a tradition Okay, the only oh, other hundred ticket hour level in your company, and it's only proper. Um, I said okay. He liked her. Okay. You don't have to convince her twice. I'll help you with the speech. She can do it herself. I want it to be really personal, because, you know, they did care about each other, I think. Refugees in the Altai Mountains, all with their vocal cords removed. And the biddies, uh... You know that's bad news. What if it's not the spree? Who else could it be? They have yet to claim responsibility. From yeah, I don't think it's the spree. Was working on the victims of the bellwether attack. <sighs> the Camarilla? Really? My mother used to tell me the Camarilla would steal my voice away while I was asleep if I didn't sing my seeds before bed. The Camarilla? It's a myth. I wanted to see if the methods were the same. Aping our ancient tormentors is a new thrill for the spree. Nothing more. Their methods were identical. That kind of hatred no longer festers in the world. I root oh. out the last remaining cover. Is it human? That kind of hatred all her thinks that hasn't existed since like she signed the deal during the Salem witch trials. But did the humans like rip out vocal cords back in the day and steal their voice? Over 200 years ago. 
Are we yeah. that desperate for ideas? We have a very real enemy in front of us. We do not need an imaginary one. Okay. How many Alder, you're being too close minded. Based on our intelligence. Someone's killing them off for their voices. And it's not the spree. I came to do some good. That's true. We have to do something. Why do we have to do something? Because we were involved in something deeply unjust. And all her I definitely think Tally's most affected by it because she's enlisted. And across just too close to all her. Willingly. We're and they made her kill civilians. No more secrets. Okay. So she wants to tell Abigail's mom. Oh, this unit will be the death of me. Oh. <laughs> okay. This girl is awesome. She looks a I bit terrible news. scared of her. I'm sorry to say that more of your people have been murdered. You may stop. She already, already know. I intend to intervene immediately. She knows everything. I plan to appeal. What risk could be worse than the annihilation of power? You know what would happen if our songs fell into the hands of governments and armies. There will be no more world to fight over. What I'm offering is the preservation of your people. At what price? Yeah, the Kill songs. Walter. Where are the songs? How arrogant you are. <laughs> Holy shit. What are you gonna do, Alder? Our commitment to peace is non negotiable. You're alive because of me. Fuck you. Because they're real. Exactly. Oh, damn. I mean, I thought Alder would understand her being protective of her people. Because that's what Alder did during the Salem Witch Trials. She protected herself, but also. Uh, ended the slaughter of witches during that time and she has to know that the songs being released have have done bad as well as good that's so funny how she's intimidated by this girl she's so powerful battle damage is always a part of war yeah. and make no mistake we are at war with the spree you've been through a lot I would focus your energies on finishing strong before graduation the base has been infiltrated Oh shit, what? By whom? The spree. No real. Scylla, Alder has her in custody on base. At Fort Salem, correct. I'm like Someone. worried because this could put Scylla in more danger. I said it before by Alder not telling everyone. She and Anacostia are the only ones who can interrogate her, whereas the more extreme people don't know about her yet. But now that they're going to know, I'm worried that Scylla's going to be hurt <laughs> even more. They're interrogating her. Oh, dear. That's how they found out about Baylord Otto. I know that she wants to overthrow Alder. And with this secret, she could totally, you know, mess up her position. Nice! And I got to look awesome. It? Sometimes. Eating is she doesn't eat. I want to talk to you about Scylla. Man, I love eating, so Let's get her off that base. sucks. I think she may still be of use. In what way? Why are you still on this? We can bring her around. Every yeah. time we keep her, we risk her escape, and goddess knows what else. She forfeited her rights when she became an agent for the end. What if we can turn her against the spree? Yeah, that's, Send her back that'd to be like goddess. such a goal. Not with a will like hers. How can you be so sure? Centuries of experience. He's a girl. He's like a very young girl. You haven't been young in a while, Alder. So I don't know if you understand. But also noticing now that like Alder can't experience the more human aspect, like eating or having children or anything like that, it puts her away from everybody and maybe clouding her judgment as well about like love and what motivates some of the spree such as Scylla who lost her parents because of the army and you know who has definite feelings for Elle and, and Anacostia told her that she had regret but Alder just waved it off. No. No, not in the least. Good. I hope Anacostia protects Scylla. She should be in prison. 
Arrange transport to our facility in San Domingue. Ooh. Understood. I'm wondering when Anacostas is going to step up to her, though. She's just following her reluctantly now for a couple episodes. Oh my god, I was like, what is that? And I realized it's burial ground. It's a lot of dead soldiers. I don't know if I'm ready for Abigail's speech or eulogy. First, I would like to extend my condolences to this wife family. I, I want her to go off script. Come on. She's gonna do it. Oh shit. Her mom's gonna be in. unhappy, but... I'm sorry, I can't. Nice. Elizabeth Kane's wife was the girl I hated most in the world. Oh my god. <laughs> That's probably not the best way to start. But it's gonna be good. And now she's gone. Some families sail, others ride. Bellwethers Oh, you see that face? Made her eat a piece of dead pigeon. Oh my gosh. Can you say something positive about her too? Levo's wife. You were the stone that sharpened my blade. Ah, that's such a good line. The storm on my sunny day for those things. I'm grateful. May the goddess bless you. May the goddess bless this country that you served so much. That was amazing. I was again gonna clap, but I'm like, nope, keep stopping is the thing here. <laughs> wow, the shot's incredible too. The lighting of this whole scene. Oh, that's a truce. I like that moment. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm sad that um, she had to lose her daughter for the wives and bellwethers to finally have some kind of truth. Real sad. She was taken too soon. And I would follow you anywhere. You're oh. a warrior queen. Yeah. You're a priestess of ancient truth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool compliment. I especially like the part about the dead pigeon. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mom looked like she was going to end me right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought she was kind of cute. Uh oh, <laughs> merging. Oh my gosh. Dark hair. Trouble. Oh, oh, she has a type. Dark hair. Speaking of trouble, yeah. Garrett. Please don't be a What's dick. What's wrong with the phone? <laughs> How's that going now that he's hitched? Ah, oh, it's uh, complicated. Oh gosh. Well, you're well tonight. Oh wow. We're just getting started. We don't have to rush. Stop. Oh wow. I don't think this is about this is love anymore for her. I think she needs to, you know, put her mind at rest for a bit, just for a couple minutes. So maybe forget. Yeah. She wants to forget for a bit. How come you have time to sit with me all day? Oh wow. You're my priority. Lucky me. Hmm. I love what you've done to the place. It's kind of medieval. Scylla, stop being a smart ass. I am a witch! <laughs> what the hell, Scylla? <laughs> you have to convince her that you're good. Come on. What's it like in Germany? In 1761, 611 witches were burned alive. That's not the same. These people were dragged from their homes. Children, too. I mean, the speed to see this year, war which was never ending war. To send you to our prison in the Caribbean. Don't send her away. That sounds nice, although I do tend to burn. It's the kind of place someone comes back. The sweeter skin. Just be honest for once. Oh, Let fal me see Rael one more time. faltering. <laughs> do you have any idea what I would risk by doing that? She's gonna do it. If you give me this. I'll tell you all about the horrible things that made me who I am. Ooh, okay. Anna can't pass that up. Muriel's not happy though. She literally killed a copy of her. I don't know, man. 
forbid your intervention in this matter. Oh, gosh. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted someone to do that. Oh, gosh. But that's you very rude. Lecturing me, and you made the next one easy for me. What? Because I've just learned that you've allowed your Fort Salem to be infiltrated by the spree. Oh, gosh. What can she do, though? I mean, she's the president. Can she, like... We have a friend at the opera. I know. Fire her? <laughs> Your days of leaving our military are over. Oh no. Okay, imagine someone like who's obviously way younger than you and they outrank you and you have no say. I don't think Aller's gonna take this lightly. <laughs> I'll announce the changeover tonight. Thank you for your time. What is the military with Alder? They haven't known anything else. Oh damn. She's you gonna kill the president? She's being moved to a military prison. Asked to see you one more time. It's likely she'll never return. It's great. No. How can you link with her? Oh damn. It's not about linking with her. I think it helps Silla, maybe even help you to see her. Oh wow. Say goodbye. Dude, oh, Anacostia yeah. really cares. That's why she's such an awesome character. I think she understands that Scylla's gone through shit in life, and that's why she joined this frame. And she obviously knows that Rael has deep feelings for her. Um, and Scylla even confessed the same, but I don't know if she actually believes that. Considering that she did request to see Rael one last time, I think she knows that her feelings might be real. But, unfortunately, Rael is holding on to her hatred and anger towards Scylla for lying to her and being free this whole time. She thinks she's been a pawn. Oof, I'm not ready. You know what? She is dead to me. <laughs> no. I think you need closure at least, like. No. Come on. You might want to think about that a bit. I don't want to think about her at all. I'm just saying, if I had the chance to say one more little thing to Charvel, or Libba, yeah. I'd take it. Good. I thought they'd try to convince her out of it. Libba's eulogy was unconventional, but extremely effective and yeah. very moving. That's good. I think at this point she's kind of just oh. using him. Hillary! <gasps> oh shit. I've been on a plane for 16 hours. I'm sorry. I'll go. She knows. See you where you are. Tell you what. Give me ten in the shower and I'll join you. That's okay. Power. What? Think you can handle us both? Oh geez. He's lucky, man. I don't know if Tally's into that though. She doesn't want to share, does she? I mean, witches are quite open. I don't think she was expecting that. So you knew she'd be back early. Yeah. Tally, I it didn't work out. What? I just really didn't think that you'd react this way. This is a way? Wait, what way is this? You were so insatiable last time. Oh yeah, she was a bit, a little bit aggressive. Yes. Trust me for a little bit longer. I trust you. You do? What a power couple. I feel like together they can change the world. <laughs> Is that too soon? Probably. We need another season to know. Oh gosh. She doesn't want to die. She's not willing to die for her cause. Oh gosh. <sighs> that hope in Scylla's eyes. Uh, she knows. She knows. Look at that look. She knows. She knows. It believed everything they said about me. Yeah. I mean... I you, loved you. You are a spree. I still love you. I, uh, there's no excuse. I, I'm scared. I'm scared of losing your mark. Of losing you? God damn. Why else would you want to see me one last time? I promise. I'm 
problem is I'm telling you for shipping me off to die. Come on, Rail. Well, we all go sometime. Are you freaking kidding me? Why did you pick me? Is it because my mom died when you thought I'd be a likely cause? Because she's just like I'm calling the shots around so here? powerful. They didn't tell me. Why you know what? what? You know what? I get it. I get it. I was the sickest, weakest. Gazette. You're the strongest. Are you kidding? You have no idea how powerful you are. Oh, you. I feel broken. Thanks to you. The acting, man. I'm sorry we ever went so. <laughs> I chose you! Yeah, you know she chose you. Come on. Instead of them, I chose you. She chose to dance with you one last time. Please. She's gonna walk away and I'm not okay with that. Oh god. Man, and I cost you a please help her. <laughs> oh, jeez, Amalia. <laughs> what are you doing to my heart? <laughs> no, like, seriously, Anacostia is the only hope. I don't think Anacostia wants to ship her off to die for joining a cause at such a young age with some legit reasons, you know, and not really fully realizing what she was joining. Okay, I gotta come down. <laughs> Oh shit, there's only six minutes left. Seven. Six. Something is wrong. Oh, uh, wait, is she like mind controlling her so she speaks through her? Fellow citizens. Oh, you. The future oh. of the troubled world. No. no rests in and good. The time has she come knows. to meet this enemy. There's a specific sound to when the president is speaking. I think Anacostia knows that there's some witchery going on. And she's probably gonna allow them to go save the last people from the Tarim. To wipe the spree from the face of the earth for good. In this world, we are supported by the collective cooperation of the Anacostia knows nations. she's like taking away her free will, but what will she do with the president afterwards? Like she knows she's being controlled and it obviously doesn't last forever. I am granting General Alder full authorization to employ military force both at home and at a global level. Peace. Our only mission to eliminate a threat with the size This is taking power, a lot of energy. So that we never have oh, to do this again. Anacostia has to do something now. Oh, wow. She's very disillusioned by Alder now. Imagine this woman raising her and then going against everything like that. I don't think she'll follow her anymore, for sure. I mean, she gotta say Silla, right? She gotta um, talk to this unit who knows about Alder. Oh God. I shouldn't have put you through that. Hmm. You're human. Yeah. She loves you. And Alder isn't. That part's real. Yes! Yes, that a costume. Uh, I can't. We have to find your unit now. Oh no. Okay. And a costume protect this unit? Alder puppeted the president. Oh shit. Isn't that outlawed by the Hague? Very. Oh, and shit. with good reason. I've known Alder since I was a kid. I've seen her make hundreds of tough calls, but never like this. Yeah, this so cross the line. for the cost of her actions. She, whatever you said in motion with Petra, left her no alternative. Oh, wow. Can she follow this back to us? You guys need to get out. If she does, we're all in grave danger. Oh, guys! <laughs> what? This, this is such a crazy episode. Okay, I have a lot to talk about. Okay. I definitely wanted this Anacostia team up with this unit. Because she's the only real adult figure I trust within the military. 
and they're now in danger because of this whole thing and I believe Petra is too. I definitely like that Anacostia is standing up to Alder now by telling these ladies her secret. But she knows they're a great unit and I don't think she wants to protect Alder after all that she's done it. Especially after crossing this boundary of using witch powers that were not allowed. Taking away someone's free will and giving yourself all the power. Like, it just made her break down and cry and I think that was a great moment to see because she idolized Alder. She was like a parental figure for her. So I think she definitely feels betrayed by what Alder's done. She's not the great leader she grew up knowing. Uh, not anymore. She was desperate and she's willing to do whatever it takes to stay in power apparently. Literally no expectations for next episode. I have no idea what's gonna happen in the finale you guys. It's gonna blow my mind I think. I think Tali struggled the most this episode with uh, what they had to do last episode because she did take her oath to the military out of her own free will and wasn't forced to do so and she definitely did not sign up to kill civilians who she actually had a connection to it could feel their emotions so that makes sense and so she used Garrett in order to forget about that so it became less about love I think and more about forgetting and I think that confused him into thinking she'd want a threesome with his wife and the whole Scylla Rail moment killed me. But I do think it was so important for Anacostia to tell her that yes, Scylla does love you. Because she can't really believe anything that Scylla says anymore, but she definitely believes and trusts um, Anacostia. I really loved Abigail's eulogy for Libba. I think it summed up the relationship perfectly. It started off rough just because of these expectations they had from their family and their parents. Um, and then she, it built into s real respect between each other and I l really like the moment between Petra and Libba's mom where they just nodded and admitted this whole fight or disagreement their families had was kind of ridiculous. The only thing I was missing from this episode was when Scylla would explain to Anacostia everything that happened to her because that was the deal they had for allowing uh, Scylla to see Rail one last time. Um, so I don't know if they'll go into that next episode or if Anacostia would just try and help get her out of this death sentence that Alder has planned for her. It's really stressful guys, I don't even know what's happening, but I definitely don't think the Spree are a part of the whole vocal cords being ripped out thing, so there's another enemy in the horizon. Anyways, it's such a great episode you guys, and I really, we have to get a season two, come on. This is one of the best shows I've seen in a while, so many powerful strong women, I haven't seen so many women in a show, and it's something I've been waiting my entire life for honestly. I'm glad I took this chance because it's hard for me to know how well a brand new show will do uh, when I react to it or if I'll even like it but I, as soon as I saw this trailer after my, a friend recommended it I knew immediately I'd like this. It's right up my alley. I haven't seen a witch show I've liked this much since Charmed which was ages ago. Really powerful women, great acting. I also just appreciate the storytelling, cinematography, everything about the show. And I hope you liked my reaction to this episode. I'll see you next week for the last one. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.